Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today I take this uh, 3080 Strix apart, the first one that I cover modded. And the reason why I do this is because it's been half a year now. And I just want to take the card apart to see how the copper looks like. And on the other side, um, some one of the fan is, die, is dying. So I want to change it for other ones. And now we want to see how does the copper mod look like after a half year. Um, basically, this card is ready to take off the PCB from the cooler. And then we can see. Okay, I finally deattached the card from the cooler. As you can see, the thermal paste on the copper is still intact. Same on the... Mm, on the quite a bit dried out. I mean, that's uh, kind of okay. But for the... Yeah, DRAM, it all looks kind of good. And this time, I will change the ceramic to paste for neat mx5 since this paste is really good and yeah then we will see how the temps will go and this is how it looks like before i attach the copper plates all right now the last layer of thermal paste and the card would be ready to go but before i do that i will uh, exchange the fan in the shroud which is dead okay guys i'm back home um, i wanted to film the whole process of getting the card ready to mine i mean i was about to do it then but then bad things occurred because you know <clears throat> if your mining rig runs through two or several months you know and then it's off for like half an hour maybe an hour yeah um I don't know why, but you get in, in serious problems and I had to fix this first and after that I was um, pretty exhausted so that I wasn't able to do a, to pull off a video, but let me do an explanation here. Basically um, in terms of temperature it didn't really change anything that I installed a new fan, basically I installed even three new fans, not only a single one. and yeah, temperatures are the same, which means the Strix cooler is also fine with just two fans, which is kind of impressive. <coughs> and in terms of thermal paste, uh, if is there a difference between ceramic or MX5? And sadly, I have to say no. But I would have wondered, because, you know, uh, VRAMs doesn't have that high thermal density, so even... A shady ceramic tube paste uh, should be fine to transfer the, the heat output to the cooler and therefore the mx5 didn't really change much therefore the overclocks uh, stayed pretty the same i'm sad that this card is not capable of doing oh, more than 3200 it's basically gpu one it can do on ethereum alone 3000 950 maybe 4000 uh, when it's really cold um, you're probably wondering why this card is running a bit hotter than the other ones for HG there's also a Strix below which is running on 47 degrees that's because <coughs> the copper plates which I used on this card are a bit too thick like 0.1 millimeter but I have to admit, I'm a pretty lazy person and I don't really care that it's running on 64 degrees Celsius because 64 degrees Celsius is just as fine as 47 degrees Celsius. But what I do care is that the VRAM is running at 100 and now it's running on like uh, 60 degrees. So that's, that's basically a bigger jump and helps the card a bit more than bringing bringing it down from 60 to 4 degrees celsius yeah um yeah that's it guys uh, and all in all the conclusion i would say the copper mod is working after half a year just as fine as it was one day after i did it 
so not really improvement didn't really change anything so if your firmware pads are dying after a couple of months like ec360 silver as far as i know they are dead <coughs> within two months i can say copper mod works really good so if you want to consider how long um copper the copper mod will work i can tell you it's definitely over half a year i would say as long as the firmware paste on the core will last because i noticed that the firmware paste on the core dries out first but that's not even a wonder because <coughs> the firmware density of the core is much higher so the core puts a lot more heat puts a lot more wear to the firmware paste and therefore I would safely assume that the copper mod works as long as the firmware paste on the core will last and as we all know firmware paste on the core will last bare minimum around one and a half year so I would say you can use the copper mod in terms of long life DVD like one and a half year at bare minimum and the problem is not the VRAM the problem is the core then because you have to take it apart yeah that's it guys for today i hope you enjoyed the video even if it was not that much info about leave then a comment a like and if you want to subscribe i would really appreciate it and i would say see you in the next one